Hey guys and welcome back to another tutorial. Uh, in today's tutorial we're going to be talking more about how um, to make like a menu system. Essentially like something where uh, a user can select um, from several options um, using the arrow keys and then when they hit enter it makes a choice for them. So that's what we're going to be working with today. Now <clears throat> from our last tutorial we have a uh, input win created just to contain our, uh, our menu. Maybe I'll actually call it a menu win now, just because it's a menu instead of just straight up input. Um, so we'll do that instead. Um, but basically what this um, is going to look like, um, hold on one sec, menu win, and then menu win. Uh, so what this is going to look like when we actually run it just by, just with the window, is this. I've made it a little bit bigger so that we can hold a couple choices in here. Um, but it's very same to the, the last tutorial. And we're going to be using the keypad so that way we, we can get um, key input. Actually, let me put that there so you can see. It reminds you what it does. Makes it so, so we can use arrow keys. Um, all right, so first things first, we want to have a couple choices for the user to pick from. So... Um, we're going to use a string instead of a char star, only because um, C++ yells at us for using a deprecated char star. Um, so we'll use string uh, choices, and we'll make an array, and uh, we'll have three choices, I guess. So we'll put um, walk, um, jog, or run. Obviously, this is, I don't, I don't know, just random choices, I, you know. <laughs> So, and then we're also going to want um, a variable called choice, uh, and we're going to want another variable called highlight, um, and we're going to make that equal to zero to start with. Um, if, if I'm rushing ahead here and you're not quite understanding why I'm making some things, don't worry, it'll all be apparent um, by the end, so don't worry about that. Um, just type along or watch. Um, next, we're going to want to run a while loop that uh, is going to be infinite unless we tell it to break out. So we'll do while one because that will always run. Um, and then first things first, we're going to want to print out the menu that we've created. So we'll go um, for int i equals zero, i is less than three because that's how big our menu size is, uh, i plus plus. And um, what we're going to do is we're going to highlight the one that the user is currently over, quote unquote, and the way we'll do that is we'll check to see if i equals um, our highlight variable, which we set to zero by default, so it'll highlight the zeroth element. Um, so i equals equals highlight. Uh, if that's the case, then we want to do what's called w atron, um, which is a tribute on for a specific window. So we'll do our menu win. And we'll turn on a reverse, which will quote unquote highlight it. Um, it reverses the foreground and background color essentially. Um, then once we've done that, we want to print. Uh, we want to move w print w because we're moving to a specific place within our menu win. So we'll do menu win because you always start with the window name, and then our y value, which in this case will be i um, plus one, so that way we can clear the border on our, uh, our input or menu win over here. And then we'll make um, x equal to 1, just so again we can clear this border over here, this side. And then we will print out um, our choice. So in this case we'll do um, choices i. And because we used a string and print w accepts char stars, we'll have to do choices i dot c string. Uh, it's going to get a little annoying, but it's kind of what you have to do. And then uh, we can use w atra off to turn off um, our attribute. So basically, what this will do is if we want to highlight this specific option, it will set it to highlight, and then it'll print it out highlighted, and then it'll turn print out off, or the highlight off, so the next thing isn't highlighted. Or it'll come through, it won't highlight it, and then it'll print W, and then it'll say, turn this attribute off. Okay, it's already off. So it doesn't give you an error, it just does it anyways. Then after we print out our menu, we want to ask the user for a choice. So we're going to make choice equal to W get char for input win, or menu win. I'm so used to calling it input win. 
Um, and then once we get our choice, we're going to use a switch statement to um, see what they've entered. Um, instead of multiple if statements, it's just a lot easier. So in the case that choice is equal to um, key up, what we're going to want to do is make highlight. It's kind of the opposite of what you think it is. You're going to make highlight minus minus. Um, and then because it's a um, switch statement, you have to break out. And then we for do case key down. We want to make oh, I'm notorious for spelling highlight with a T in the middle, so I'm probably gonna get an error for that by the end. Um, but key down, we're gonna want to make highlight plus plus, and we'll break out of that. And whoop. Um, and then we want a default case just in case the user press something that's neither of those, and we'll just break out. Um, Alright, so once we're done with the choice, or the switch statement, we want to check to see if um, our choice is equal to uh, 10, because if it's equal to 10, that means the user hit enter, and that means that they um, want to choose whatever option is currently highlighted. So if choice is equal to 10, we want to break out of this uh, while loop. But um, there we go. Alright, so this should work in, in, in and of itself. So let's, let's try and run this now. So if we make and we run hello, we'll get several choices. The first one that highlighted is walk because we set highlight equal to zero. Then if we hit the key down, it brings us to jog. If we hit key up, it brings us back to walk. We can go down to run. But the problem right now is I haven't checked to see if we go out of bounds. So right there you can see we went out of bounds because we went to highlight equal negative one. And that doesn't exist. So um, it it was off the, the grid. So what we'll do instead is we will <clears throat> check to see if highlight is equal to zero. So if highlight equals equals zero, then, or actually if it equals negative one, then we want to make highlight equal to one again. Uh, equals one, or zero, sorry. And then uh, for this one, if highlight equals uh, three, in this case, we want to make highlight equal to two, because um, the highest element in choices is actually the second, because it goes zero, one, two. So that's why it would be equal to two. Um, and then afterwards, why don't we just print out whatever choice um, we actually made, so that way you can see that you can keep the choice. So let's go um, print W, so we'll just do it in the top left corner of the, the standard screen. Uh, print W, and then we'll do your your choice was, uh, and then print set inside S for uh, string, and then we'll do choices highlight because highlight captures the um, the last um, element that you were highlighting, um, and then again we have to do C string so that way it converts it to a uh, charge type. So if we run this again, we'll get a menu, and you can't go out of bounds for it. Um, going up and down as much as I can. And then if we select one of the options, it'll say your choice was jog. So there you have a very simple menu system. Um, you might want to make a menu system that allows you to make multiple choices off the same menu or whatever, but this is the, the bare bones for making a menu system. Uh, there are probably other ways to do this, but this is just the way I came up with on the spot. So um, I hope that was helpful for, helpful for you guys, and uh, I'll see you in another tutorial.